Thank you for joining. I hope that you are doing well. Indigenous South American group has healthiest arteries of all populations yet studied, providing clues to a healthy lifestyle. An 80-year-old from the Chemine group had the same vascular age as an American in his or her mid-50s, suggests a new report. The Chemine people, a forager horticulturalist population of the Bolivian Amazon, have the lowest reported levels of vascular aging for any population. With coronary atherosclerosis, hardening of the arteries, being five times less common than in the U.S., the research shows. The researchers propose that the loss of subsistence diets and lifestyles in contemporary society could be classed as a new risk factor for heart disease. The main risk factors are age, smoking, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, physical inactivity, obesity, and diabetes. Although the Chemine lifestyle is very different from that of contemporary society, certain elements of it are transferable and could help to reduce risk of heart disease. While industrial populations are sedentary for more than half of their waking hours, 54%, the Chemine only spend 10% of their daytime being inactive. They live a subsistence lifestyle that involves hunting, gathering, fishing, and farming where men spend an average of six to seven hours of their day being physically active and women spend four to six hours. Their diet is largely carbohydrate-based, 72%, and includes non-processed carbohydrates, which are high in fiber, such as rice, plantain, manioc, corn, nuts, and fruits. Protein constitutes 14% of their diet and comes from animal meat, along with wild game and fish. The diet is very low in fat, with fat compromising only 14% of the diet, equivalent to an estimated 38 grams of fat each day, including 11 grams saturated fat and no trans fats. In addition, smoking was rare in the population. In the observational study, the researchers visited 85 Chemine villages between 2014 and 2015. They measured the participants' risk of heart disease by taking CT scans of the hearts of 705 adults aged 40 to 94 years old. Based on their CT scans, 85% had no risk of heart disease, 13% had low risk, and only 3% had moderate or high risk. These findings also continued into old age where 65% of those aged over 75 years old had almost no risk, and 8% had moderate or high risk. These results are the lowest reported levels of vascular aging of any population recorded to date. By comparison, a U.S. study of 6,814 people aged 45 to 84 found that only 14% of Americans had a CT scan that suggested no risk of heart disease, and 50% had a moderate or high risk, a five-fold higher prevalence than in the Chemine population. Because the study is observational, it cannot confirm how the Chemine population is protected from vascular aging, or which part of their lifestyle, diet, physical activity, or smoking, is most protective. The researchers suggest it is more likely to be a result of their lifestyle than genetics because of a gradual increase in cholesterol levels, coinciding with a rapidly changing lifestyle. Over the last five years, new roads and the introduction of motorized canoes have dramatically increased access to the nearby market town to buy sugar and cooking oil, a doctor stated. This is ushering in major economic and nutritional changes for the Chemine people. The researchers did not study whether coronary artery hardening in the Chemine population impacted on their health, but note that deaths from heart attacks are very uncommon in the population, so it is likely that their low levels of atherosclerosis and heart disease are associated. The researchers are investigating this in further research. This study suggests that coronary atherosclerosis could be avoided if people adopted some elements 
of the chimney lifestyle, such as keeping their LDL cholesterol, blood pressure, and blood sugar very low, not smoking, and being physically active, a senior cardiology author stated. Most of the chimney are able to live their entire life without developing any coronary artery hardening. This has never been seen in any prior research. While difficult to achieve in the industrialized world, we can adapt some aspects of their lifestyle to potentially forestall a condition we thought would eventually affect almost all of us. I will post a link for this article in the description. Thank you for watching. Good day and good health.